Hey everybody, Todd Vandermine back for a uh, short edition of Freedom Steel here. It's more of an update about things. I uh, just got back from Gun Rights Policy Conference and it was a great time hooking up with a bunch of the attorneys I have worked with over my career, David Jensen, Chuck Michelle, Marie D'Amico, uh, a few others. It was an extreme pleasure to get a chance to meet Mark Smith, uh, and Richard from Armed Attorneys. Uh, very nice. Uh, great to have an opportunity to talk with them, talk a little bit about that. Uh, as you can see here, I have my grandson, Nathan, who uh, a lot of you have asked about, as I have mentioned him in videos in the past. And so what this is, <clears throat> is that he's doing well. Uh, but, hey, bubbies, uh, he has been diagnosed with a seizure disorder. And so they don't really know all the fine details of that, but um, they are going to be taking him to Mayo Clinic uh, next month. And with all that, what we have uh, come to find out here in the time is that in the five times he has been hospitalized, he gets taken to a local uh, urgent care here by his parents, my son Jacob and his wife uh, Liv, and then they transport him to Rush Copley downtown. And through that, they use a private ambulance service. And with all that, hey, bubbies, um, the private ambulance service isn't always covered under their health care stuff. And those five visits right now have racked them up bills totaling more than $32,000 in ambulance transport fees alone. So they've yeah. they've started a GoFundMe page. A lot of yeah. you have asked about Nathan here a lot of times in the comments. Yeah. And so I just wanted to give a shout yeah. out and thank you as we knock on 10,000 subscribers that if any of you uh, yeah. would feel so generous as to help uh, my son and his family out with um, some sort of donation, whether it be a dollar, five dollars or whatever, to help defray yeah. these mounting cost that these two young kids, Jake's 23, uh, have racked up in trying to uh, take care of the health of my grandson here. So I will have a link uh, to the GoFundMe page that's here down below and let you guys, um, you know, I, I just thank you always for the subscriptions and the, 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 the likes and everything else for all this. Uh, one of the things is that having been lo lobbying for 30 years plus. I missed a lot of birthdays. I missed, uh, you know, school plays, events, things like that. Uh, being down in Springfield to protect our right to keep and bear arms. And uh, I want to do everything I can for my grandkids since I wasn't always around for my two sons and some of those occasions. But uh, Gun Rights Policy Conference was great. I got to speak with Mark Smith. Uh, ran a couple of my ideas, particularly right to repair past him, and he was in agreement on it. And uh, that would be just a fantastic discussion to record and have and share with you guys. Uh, armed attorneys had a great chance to talk with them and go over stuff uh, and just kick around the various cases and options and what the landscape for two-way litigation looks like. So... As always, short update, we are going to be having my in-depth, detailed commentary on Duncan forthcoming. And when everybody keeps asking me, what are we going to know about the Seventh Circuit? Don't know, but I will tell you, when you go back and look at Friedman, Friedman was argued in January and decided in April. Oh, let's see, so you had January, you had February, March, April. It Friedman was decided 90 days out from the time it was argued, and that was an Easterbrook decision. So we're getting into a window now of 60 days. And we'll have more commentary on the rules that uh, ISP has promulgated to JCAR and all that. And as you can see, he is just having a, a ball of a time playing peekaboo with my wife on the other side of the computer monitor. So as always, guys, thanks for all your support. Uh, please continue to like, subscribe, copy, paste the link, and share it around to everybody. And as always, frag out.